Hey you guys, this is me Spongebob number one fan 1003 here and as you can see I'm here with these two Spongebob show me the bunny books and we're actually going to be doing the comparison of them today um, you all know that this one right here is from Simon Spotlight and this one right here is really really old and it has about 32 pages in it and this one right here is from Random House and it has 24 pages so that means it has a little bit less pages than this version right here does okay so let's go ahead and start comparing here so obviously the covers are actually quite different like obviously this one right here is from Simon Spotlight this one right here is from Random House you know ready to read step into reading there's a difference here <laughs> and um like like obviously the cover designs are different like you know Spongebob his bunny costume looks a little bit different and obviously the basket and the eggs look different, and obviously Patrick looks different as well. Okay. And then here are the spines together. As you can see. Okay. And then the backs of them. So, they both have the description of the story, but this one right here is really long. This one right here is a little bit of a shorter description. And they both have the levels on the back. And the age recommendations for them as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and start comparing these two babies here. Okay. So we're going to have this one right here on the bottom. We're going to have this one right here at the very top. Okay. So let's go ahead and start comparing right now. But obviously these books are not good at staying down. So... I'm going to have to have my little friend, Merman Spongebob, help me here with this. Okay. So, I'm going to have him lay on the pages of the book. <clears throat> that way, th they'll stay down. Okay. Let me just get the page and lay him down right on top. Perfect. Okay. Like, I know I'm very, very weird with these, but I don't even care. I don't even care at all. Okay, but yeah, this one right here just has, like, the levels and stuff, like, info about it. Okay. And, obviously, the starter pictures are quite different. Like, on this one right here, it has Spongebob holding his little um, bunny costume on a hanger. And there's little Gary. But on this one right here, Spongebob is putting an egg underneath Gary with his little cute bunny costume on. And both of these books were made by the exact same people and the exact same illustrators. Like, you know, Stephen Reed, C.H. Greenblatt, William Reese, yeah, exactly the same. Okay. <clears throat> so. Okay. So. Right off the bat, there are quite a few differences here already. So only this picture right here is in the Simon Spotlight version. Well, it's Spongebob knocking on Patrick's rock and waking him up and letting him know that the Easter Bunny is coming tomorrow. And as you turn the page, there are actually quite a few differences here as well. Like the exact same pictures though, but like... Um, you can see that the sign that Patrick has that says put gifts here, it's a lot different in this book because you can see that Patrick's little sign just has some little Christmas presents on it. But the picture of the Easter Bunny that little Spongebob is holding is exactly the same though. Okay. So let's turn the page. In both of them. Okay. Okay, but firstly, um, there's a difference again. So obviously, in this one right here, there's a picture of Patrick showing Spongebob some eggs. And yeah, Spongebob is explaining that, that Easter eggs are painted pretty colors. And Patrick is falling asleep, and Spongebob is counting eggs as he's falling asleep. So, yeah, it's not in that book right there. But, the picture of the adorable little Easter bunny coming to Patrick's rock... Um, and the picture of Patrick scaring the poor bunny away. It's exactly the same in these two. But obviously that one right there has much shorter sentences. Um, but this one right here has really long sentences though. 
See? Okay. Flip the pages. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, so even though these pictures are exactly the same, you can actually see some differences here. So obviously like the area right here is actually red in this book, but the area on that right there is actually green. So you can obviously see a difference here. See? Okay, and Patrick is telling SpongeBob about him saving the world from being attacked by a giant monster. pages again and here's the part where Spongebob tells Patrick that like you know he scared away the Easter Bunny and Patrick starts crying because he realized he ruined Easter it's exactly the same and Spongebob decides to fix Patrick's Easter by painting eggs just for him and Patrick and he's going to hide them, and Patrick will have a much better Easter. But the paints are the exact same colors, though. See? Okay. Yeah, Gary looks really cute. Okay. Let me flip through this page again. Okay. Alright, so... Obviously, these pics are exactly the same, you know, the, the one with little Spongebob getting the bunny costume out of his closet. It's exactly the same, but on this picture right here, there are actually quite a few differences. Like, um, well, except there's actually, I guess, one difference, if you want to say that. Like, you can see on this picture right here, like, the background is actually kind of purpley or something. But on that one right there, it's actually a very dark purple. Like, it's kind of a blue color, as you can kind of see. Yeah, it's actually quite different. Okay? But obviously, as I said before, that one right there has less pages than the original version. And obviously, as you flip the page in this one, there is, of course, a major difference. So yeah, Spongebob is bouncing along super cutely and happily. He looks so adorable. And he's hiding some eggs. And Squidward does not look very happy. Okay. So that that picture right there is not included in that version. Okay, flip the page again. There we go. Okay, so obviously there aren't a lot of differences right here, except for the sentences are a lot shorter in that one. But yeah, little SpongeBob is of course the little cute Easter Bunny. And Patrick is saying, Merry Christmas, Easter Bunny. Or in that one right there, he says, Merry Easter. <laughs> um, yeah, SpongeBob looks exactly the same. No, 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 he looks exactly the same with his adorable little bunny costume. With his adorable bunny costume. Sorry. And <laughs> the funny thing about these two right here is that the images have actually been flipped. Like, you can kind of see that. The way Patrick's jumping up in the air and little SpongeBob. Yeah, it's been flipped. It's been flipped! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> okay. So. Let me flip through the page in this one. Okay, so. Now we're at the part where little SpongeBob is smoking a pipe and he just got out of his bunny costume. And Patrick comes to tell him that the Easter egg hunt is about to begin. But on this one right here, obviously, Patrick crashes through SpongeBob's door to let the egg hunt begin. Okay. So, um, these two images right here are exactly the same, but, um, they actually cropped Spongebob out of that one. So, yeah, Patrick's finding the eggs, and of course, they're all over here, but Patrick doesn't even see them. And, yeah, there's little Spongebob wearing his adorable little Easter bonnet, and he's holding a little sign that says, Look, eggs! But, obviously, as I said, they cropped that out of that one. Okay. Okay, so this picture right here is actually not in the abridged version either, so that's what I'm going to call it. But, um, yeah, Spongebob secretly puts his some of his eggs into Patrick's basket. 
and little spongebob was still wearing his adorable little easter bonnet and then unfortunately patrick eats all of his eggs it's it's exactly the same as you can kind of see that see and yeah he starts to cry okay and in this version right here from 2004 um spongebob actually decides to offer patrick some of his eggs and patrick actually ends up taking all of spongebob's eggs and then spongebob doesn't have any eggs at all but on that one right there in the 2016 version apparently spongebob actually decides to give patrick all of his eggs anyway and There we go. Okay, so SpongeBob starts to cry, as you can see, because he doesn't have any eggs now, and he's very, very upset. Like he starts to cry because obviously Patrick took all of the eggs. And yeah, it looks exactly the same as you can see, but on that one right there, they just included like a little stock art photo of Patrick. <laughs> okay, and. They didn't include this picture right here in the Random House version either. You know, the one of Spongebob looking very, very angry and he's still crying and there's some tissues. And obviously he's not in the mood for company since Patrick stole all of his eggs. And yeah, Spongebob's still crying right there. And Patrick actually found Spongebob a very, very big Easter egg. See? It's exactly the same as in both versions. Okay, let me flip through this page. Oh my gosh. Okay, this will be so hard actually. No, it's it's still staying down. That's good. Okay, so um, the egg actually starts to crack and SpongeBob does like and then SpongeBob realizes that that's not an Easter egg. But it's exactly the same right here. They didn't crop any of it out. So that's actually really good. Let me see, flip to the last page, flip to the last page, flip to the last page, perfection. Okay, so, as the egg cracks, there's actually a giant fish inside. And, <laughs> yep, the pictures are exactly the same, as you can see. And on this one right here, Patrick says, Merry Christmas, Easter fishy. And on that one right there, Patrick just says, the, East the Easter fish is here. So, yeah, it's basically the exact same. As I said, just different sentences and stuff. Okay, so that's actually pretty much all for this little comparison video. This was actually a lot of fun to make. Hold on a second. Okay, and really quickly, thank you so much to my beautiful little Mermaid Man Spongebob figure for helping me with this. Hold on. This is a dog or Mermaid Man. No problem. <laughs> there you go, little buddy. Okay, so that's all for this awesome comparison video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as I said for my video for my two reviews that I did this one right here is my favorite mainly because it's longer and it has the full story in it I mean this version right here is really cute too I just wish that they could have included all the pages like you all saw the differences okay so yep I hope you guys enjoyed this video so goodbye everybody have a great day and peace out